All right, hello everybody, System Chalk here with the continuation of our Apostle Obstinate playthrough and the continuing story of Ike Upscribe. I did want to take a second and say thank you to everybody who's left the kind messages, even if they're about things that uh, maybe you'd like to see me do in the future rather than this game. Uh, I read them and I actually really appreciate that people are, uh, are getting in touch. If I don't always um, follow up immediately on what people ask, um, it's it's definitely not that I'm ignoring them. Um, I do actually find this stuff helpful even if I wind up taking it in a different direction. And in fact, it's one of the reasons why I uh, originally came to Cultist Simulator, which was uh, trying to try new things. But let's uh, not delay too much longer because we are dying. Uh, we've got our forlorn blood. Now, it's a season of suspicion coming up in five seconds, so I'm still going to have to hold on. Um, I believe I'm already healing. I had to spend money on that, but of course we're already short on, on cash. Um, what I would maybe want to try is to use my hardened physique to generate a vitality. I think between the healing now and... Uh, so we've already got a, a sickness token. Um, so I think I'm going to be able to get at least one job at the worksite. But one other thing that I can try and do to, to sort of make things a little bit more likely for me to, to survive this and, and generate some extra vitality is that if I have a choice of sending off a disciple uh, or, or anybody in my cult, uh, anybody with a heart aspect would be ideal. If I'm painting something, I would want to use something that's, uh, that's got heart. And likewise, uh, if it comes to, say, um, you know, if I want to talk about lore to try and bring somebody into the cult, Similar idea, uh, I would want to use the heart lore. In fact, I'll do that right now. Uh, speak of esoteric matters, talking publicly about the invisible arts will attract attention. Perhaps that's what I want. Now, as far as studying is concerned, there's a couple of things that I can do. I can keep trying to work at Glover and Glover, uh, but that's not going to generate any vitality. I could do fresh air and exercises, uh, long walks kill the cobwebs, um, but that would take up the health uh, for the uh, for the, uh, the, the work slot. So. I don't remember how long it takes. I believe it is a full minute, and so I'm not sure that that's really worth uh, generating the, the vitality for. So I am going to continue to read my tomes. And uh, as far as exploration is concerned, I don't believe I have any heart disciples yet. Uh, right, so these were... Uh, these. I should, I should know these from memory by now, but this should be Edge, Moth, uh, Clearly Knock, Grail, and Winter. Or well, she's an acquaintance, so she's <laughs> she's not anything yet. Um, but yeah, we can uh, we can do a couple of things to try and, and balance things uh, to, in our favor. So let's get the reading in. Uh, the Rose of Nuriel is going to require some translation. So let's start with. Um, I'll do the treaties on the under places uh, because it's knock, and the knock's not going to hurt me. So. Herein, the 17th century mystic and antiquarian Claude Herschelt describes the bounds or underplaces on the borders of dream. He warns that they shift over time. The walls of the mansus, Herschelt begins, are the size of starlight. Many of his, uh, his directions are equally unhelpful, but common relationships do emerge. I'm not using the explore verb right now, so let's take my pawn and get them to search the city. Although, actually, come to think of it, I should have used the occult scrap. All right, so uh, I shrink and grow pale. Fatigue chokes my throat. I must endure, uh, sorry, ensure that my death serves a purpose. It's been a, a long day, uh, so it's I'm, I'm going to be a little, uh, I'm stumbling over my words a little bit. All right, so our heart actually got picked up right away. So um, it's a tough call. Uh, I may have to wind up using my money after all just to try and, and keep my uh, my health it could actually be that me uh, failing to failing to use the blood that I was given, uh, that could be the thing that ends this playthrough, but I'm going to hold on with my fingernails. So let's send the... I'm actually going to do the occult scrap here. Seek out play, uh, the secret place of the city. There are places in the city where I can find extraordinary things if I can sift the clues out of history and rumor. So let's also think about money. So in 23 seconds, I'm going to get paid. Um, I will take... Hmm. Yeah, so I think probably one of the funds for uh, healing. I think at this point, every, every priority needs to be on 
on fixing myself, so. Uh, because we are too many. Our enemy is vigilant. We've sent too many watchers. If we send more than two, all will fail. Oh, I wasn't, uh, I clearly wasn't uh, paying attention there. Okay, there's the... <laughs> the it's just all bad news for me. <laughs> um, we've got uh, our notoriety picked up right away too, so we're gonna have to deal with some evidence likely. The clerks f uh, file out in silence. I am free for now. So, uh, the question is, do I want to wait eight seconds for the opportunity to work the job? Uh, or do I want to get the eight seconds towards money? You know what? Difference of eight seconds is not that big. Um, because it's about five seconds that I shave off for having a hardened physique, I believe. So I will go back to G&G &G as, as much as it pains me to do so. Okay, so Eldridge is back. Valcine, oh, it's Valcine's Forge, what am I doing? And Slee is Lantern, right. So we'll put him off to the side. Okay. So no heart followers to send after, um, after the long. Direct attack. So in that case, we'll, I guess I'll toss Eldridge in. So we'll get erudition out of this. There's not a whole lot that I can do with it. But. Right, sick room glows close and stale. It's time to get up. Now it's possible that that's just going to wind up in the in the sickness verb uh, after all. But let's just get, uh, let's keep paying for the medicine. Let's try and uh, try and keep things from falling off, uh, the wheels from falling off. A picturesque account of a journey through a nightmare interspersed with what might be partial rites. On the 18th ascent is the bud. On the 36th ascent is the blossom. So we've got the Igavine, uh, sorry, Igavine Rite. Every door in the Mansus requires its sacrifice before it will open. The Igavine Rites prescribe the manner of the sacrifice. Nearly every summoning rite requires knock influence. This lore will provide it. So again, there's not a whole lot for me to do with a lot of this lore right now. Eventually I'll wind up, uh, I will wind up sort of getting my, uh, my different, I'll wind up sort of using this one in particular in a lot of summoning rites. That will start helping me with things like the weary detective and whatnot. Uh, but again, my priority right now is just to make sure that I have enough health to, you know, to, to weather the storm. So in the meantime, let's do, I don't know, Wayne Scott histories. Subtitled stories from behind the walls, a mis miscellany, uh, sorry, miscellany of non-traditional histories compiled by William Gore, including battles not generally acknowledged and countries which appear on no map, told in a playful, apparently fictional manner. Gore does not mention the Mansus directly, but constant coy metaphorical references to ascending the staircase of years to the doors of sleep and to the blue light of dawn suggest that he had commerce with the unseen world. I'm just going to take a quick sip of... All right. So we knew that... Uh... We knew that the season of dread was coming up. That's, I mean, that's just going to be have to have to be something that I live with. Dark days. I must be careful not to let doubts creep in. Dread may provoke full-fledged despair. Now, I don't think we have anything that'll be generating despair. So that's a small, um, kind of a small saving, saving grace. Um, I am curious though about how I can get off this terrible treadmill of sickness and. Um, Like, I'd, I'd like to try and somehow get one of my health uh, health cards into this work slot. Okay, fortunately, the season of ambitions is coming up, so we'll see an end to the we'll see an end to the sickness, but it's gonna cost me. I know this is probably a little bit slower than uh, how I normally normally take this, but this is a fairly fragile one. The um, Apostle Victories, for those of you who are maybe a little unfamiliar with it, I know we said this at the start, but um, the Apostle uh, the apostle runs are sort of the new game plus for Cultist Simulator. So you can only get them if you've completed a, a normal ascent, and uh, for a while this was probably the most difficult of the legacies. I think some people tend to find uh, Exile also very difficult. Um, so I suppose there might be a little bit of debate as to as to which one is is the you know the hardcore uh, option, but 
Uh, the Apostle Obstinate is is fun, um, but uh, it's it it's its own challenge, and I haven't haven't done myself any favors with the Forlorn Blood, so it's genuinely very possible for me to lose on this, and that's why I'm trying to be a little more cautious on my, my next few steps. The nightmare is almost over, though. Uh, there are places in the city where I can find extraordinary things, if I can sift the clues out of history and rumor. Again, this is the occult scrap. Secret histories are layered beneath the one that we know, like notes in a rare wine. This is a detail from one of those histories. Okay, so in 24 seconds, I will be able to pay the rent. In 30 seconds, I will have some health back. So we don't have any immediate threats that will turn uh, turn it into a game over, but that's going to change pretty quickly. Okay, a menacing feint. Our enemy sends us, uh, sorry, sends agents to threaten and dismay us. A heart or grail follower, the stronger the better, might be able to defend against this action. Oh, did I not upgrade Saliba? Wow! Oh, that's a blunder and a half. Clerks file out in silence. I'm free for now. Okay. Uh, I think it's time to go back to Glover and Glover again. We just got to get the money coming in. Looks like we wound up with some dread. Curses scrawled in black chalk. Animals crucified in the garden. Fires set in unwatched houses. The lesser moves of a secret war. Okay, so they certainly knew what to come after me for. We were 15 seconds away from being free from the, uh, the, the danger of the dread. I'm not going to be able to spend money on um, on my affliction because I'm going to need that for the rent. Ah, this is what I was hoping for. The course of the heart. Whenever the principle of the heart is implicated, I may gain vitality. All right. The nightmare is over. We can learn from each other. This is a patron. There's my waking chant, and we have Madame Bichet. Miss Olympi v uh, Bichet edits the Karishim Review, which publishes material too ghastly or thrilling for other literary magazines. She could use your assistance. Now, I don't know if I have any... Yep, there we are. Um, Dr. Adim and Sulachana are beside each other. Uh, I think... You know what? Uh, it's This is kind of solving a problem that doesn't exist anymore, but I think the time has come for us to put Saliba into uh, into the higher the higher ranks. So, of course, under normal circumstances, I would have used the Dread and the Ritual, but uh, there's the ethic elaboration. So, Saliba. Saliba understands blood. He does not yet understand birth. My follower, follower will kneel as a novice and rise as an initiate. I will administer the necessary oaths myself. Wayne's Scott histories are done, so it was common in that time to speak of the division of the sun, by which contemporaries understood the eruption of barbarian forces and their uncouth gods. We got a furtive truth for that, a detail smuggled in from an adjacent narrative. Don't speak where this may be overheard. Uh, exploring with the scrap of knowledge may uncover our secret locations in the Shires. Now, St. Agnes Hospital is not the, last, uh, I, not the last location in the capital, so I should be going back into the woods when I can. Uh, of course, we've got a few other pressing matters at the moment. So I'm not going to be working on that uh, right away. Let's do traveling at night. Uh, this, I believe, is a moth book. So Forge isn't going to generate anything that will hurt my dread. We've got Traveling at Night, Volume 3, The Annotated Dream Journals of Christopher Elopoli, sometimes called the only readable occultist. Literate, entertaining, bewildering. This is the third volume. Elopoli's disquisitions on fire and the unburnt god are in, uh, interrupted by passages of distractedly erotic poetry addressed to Baldomera. Some of you may know who Baldomera is. If you do, um, you can either keep that to yourself or you can mention it inside of chat. But one thing that might be a little fun to do, uh, and again, this is going to probably come off as a very lame attempt at engagement. But um, if you are interested, uh, it is it is neat to see what some people's guesses are. So uh, it's YouTube, so I'm sure some people will... I understand the tendency to like want to, you know, if you know something, you want everyone to know that you know it. Um, but especially if you haven't run into the lore of these different things, if you can figure out, that we'll maybe leave a few little little breadcrumbs um, for some of you who uh, who haven't uh, haven't noticed little things. You you do meet Baldemera in this, 
but I don't believe we have met that individual in this playthrough. Um, and again, sometimes it's a question of just reading the lore a little bit carefully. All right, a courier has arrived from our delight with a single vial of their most holy blood. So, our delight, Paul Samuelson, our fountain, our joy, who rests in exile until the greatest of feasts, the vitulation. So, let's not make the same mistake we made last time. We take the forlorn blood. I have a disease. My blood is wrong. My bones are sick. I'll die, but perhaps I can preserve myself long enough with the holy blood of our delight. So we take our delightful blood, the dream of the end. I consume the little vial of blood, lie back, close my eyes. Tomorrow I will be stronger. 10 seconds, and then uh, we take the older of the two afflictions. Uh, we'll have our, uh, our heart by then. I'm certain that my adversary has lodged a copy of their notes elsewhere with their solicitor, with their superior, or even with a contact in the press. This is troubling. So our current nemesis, the weary detective, this gentleman, which would much rather be left alone with his pipe and his illustrated London news. But no, apparently some conjurer of abominations has to be hunted down like a mad dog, and apparently no one else can find the time. So we've got evidence against us right now. On its own, this will take 600 seconds to go away. Uh, the hunter has found evidence, real or imagined, of my sins. Uh, now, we can get by until this becomes damning evidence, at which point we will be brought to trial on it. But then the question is, well, who do I, you know, do I take Sylvia to get rid of it? There's a, a few different tasks. Um, it's a little, it's a little harder than it looks at the start, but um, we uh, will make do. Okay, secret, the most secret places in the city. This merits closer investigation. We've got the Forsaken Reach. Along the gray banks of the rotting river, the warehouses wait. Perhaps I've identified one where an unusual cargo was stored. Uh, now, this little note is very happil uh, very useful. Uh, you found all the expeditions in the capital, although you can find and visit the Reach several times. So this is where you can go to get more stuff. But we have three more expeditions at the lowest level. We clearly don't have the funds for them, but we'll, we'll get to work on that as soon as we can. I'm trying to think if there's any benefit to me exploring right now, um, because I'm not really going to be able to hire anyone. We found pretty much, all, I think we found all the locations I need. Then again, it doesn't hurt to have the, oh no, I'll just take the furtive truth. So, odd nooks remain in the quiet countryside here and there for those who know where to look. All right, the dream of the end. I am much recovered. More than uh, that, I am sumptuous. The sclera of my eyes, the veins in my wrists are a swim with gorgeous serums. When the vitulation comes, I will be the centerpiece for our delight to prove their appetite and to enact the grail. Now, it comes with a cost. We've got the fascination, and I don't believe uh, we currently have any, um, uh, any memories. So if a season of visions is coming up, I'm in a bit of trouble, but... I am of the same blood as the delightful now. As long as their savor graces my veins, my disease cannot touch me. Without their blessing, I will die. And looks like we've actually got another uh, savor's blood coming up. That's going to be a bit of a challenge because the blood doesn't last 10 minutes. Um, but let's worry about that later. I'm going to let this run by for the second. Okay, so we'll use the Vita. Oh, hang on. There we go. All I need now is time. So we still have uh, about a little under three minutes to get rid of this affliction. I might just have to spend the money, um, but I'm going to start digesting all of the all of the issues uh, as far as the sickness is concerned, and we'll um, I don't know. We'll we'll do the best um, do the best with what we've got. I think at this point, though, it's going to be a matter of jumping between Glover and Glover and the hardened physique. Preparing an action. Our immortal enemy is preparing their next action. Add a follower strong in knock or lantern to uncover the long strategy. Well, sleep. Get in there. And our spy has returned to us, so Aldridge is back. Didn't really stop anything, but that's life. Clerks file out in silence, and I'm free for now. So I'm going to hang on to the money, and this is just because we know uh, rents do. I did put these glimmerings together so that I could... Uh, oh, sorry, I, I made the higher level... Um, glimmering just so I could preserve it. I think I'm going to do the same there. In pain we are born, in hunger we are remembered, in delight we are devoured. These are the gates of the body, and this is her promise. Not all that is born decays. In remembrance of that promise, we give ourselves to the feast. 
So Saliba is now, is now his pleasures are taken in a room without windows. His companions return to him again and again, even though each time they are a little less. And at this point, I think this is a good spot to uh, finish the playthrough right now. I'm going to record another video just after this, but I try to keep them around 20 minutes. So if you like this, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, share them with a friend if you like them. But until next week, uh, I, hope you, uh, I hope you have a good one and uh, enjoy Cultist Simulator if you've started playing because of this.